Hello, it's Tom here from Socks Happy People and I just wanted to say a quick hello and to let you know about this really great book that I'm reading called 59 Seconds by Professor Richard Wiseman. And it's a really great book and it's got a fantastic section in there about happiness and how to cultivate even more happiness in your own life. And it was really interesting to me because I've done, over the past six years, a lot of personal development work. I've traveled all over the world going to seminars by some of the top speakers in the world, invested a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a lot of money learning all these great strategies and tools. Yet recently, over the past few months, i found that even though I've kind of had all access to all these tools and these strategies, I was still feeling a little bit tired, a little bit stressed, and, um, and uh, you know, I just you know, wanted to really cultivate some more happiness, really, from within. So um, I asked my intuition to send me some inspiration, and uh, I came across this book, 59 Seconds. So I started reading it just before the weekend. I'm making some good progress. I'm probably about uh, a third of the way through it now. And the first section is on happiness. And one of the first exercises it tells you about is how to keep a good diary and what to do on each day of the diary, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's Monday today. It's my first day of the diary, so I'm going to share with you Monday's exercise. Okay. All of these exercises, by the way, are designed to be done in 59 seconds or less because they're designed you know, for busy people that maybe haven't necessarily got 40 minutes a day to meditate or 20 minutes in the morning to meditate or, or anything like that. So it's very quick, 59 seconds, get it done, feel great. All right, here we go. Monday, Thanksgiving. There are many things in your life for which to be grateful. This is true. These might include having close friends, being in a loving relationship, being part of a supportive family, enjoying good health, ha health, having a roof over your head or enough food to eat. Alternatively, you might have a job that you love, have happy memories of the past, recently had a nice experience such as an especially lovely cup of coffee, enjoyed the smile of a stranger, had your dog welcome you home, eaten a great meal or stopped to smell the flowers. Think back over the past week and list three of these things below. Okay, so I'm going to do this exercise now, and I shall see you in 59 seconds. Okay, welcome back. So I wrote down my three things over the past week, which I have to be grateful for, and I'm just going to share those with you now. Okay, number one, I had a fantastic time in Ireland over the weekend with my grandma. Now, my grandma lives in Ireland. I don't get to see her much. And I went over on Thursday night and I came back last night, Sunday night. And uh, we had a really great time. We had really great chats and we really connected and bonded um, like, we, like we never have before, really. And um, I've always been close to my grandma. We've always have been close. And, um, but really, just recently, and especially over the weekend, our relationship is really evolving and it's growing and, um, and we're sharing a lot more, which is really, really great. And I'm really grateful um, to be blessed with such a fantastic family. I spoke to my mum over the weekend as well. I, I haven't seen her for a year and a half. She lives in Vietnam, so it was really, really fantastic to connect with her. So that, that was really great. Um, second of all, on Thursday night, I had a really great talk with one of the Socks for Happy People investors called Paul. He gave some amazing perspectives and insights into the business, especially in the next couple of months uh, as, we, uh, as our main focus is the selling of our socks into distributors uh, for Christmas. So he gave some great perspectives there and that was really great. I'm really grateful to have uh, investors in the business that um, are very knowledgeable, very smart and genuinely care about the mission and the purpose behind Socks Happy People and also about Richard and I um, as individuals as well, not just about getting a return, which of course is important, but you know, they're more holistic thinking. So I'm really grateful um, to have investors like that on board, which is really great. Um, and third of all, is uh, just uh, yesterday morning I saw a really lovely little brown doggy just walking along the street. He had a really smiley face and he had a lovely waggy tail. And uh, I love little dogs. And uh, my girlfriend and I, Laura, we've got uh, a little Jack Russell called Chance Florum, who hasn't been born yet, but he does exist. Uh, maybe I'll put a link somewhere on the page, probably below, um, so you can have a look at our doggies. And it's really nice whenever I see doggies walking down the street because it reminds me. It uh, makes me think of, of Laura, my girlfriend, because we love dogs together, and, and Laura's really lovely, and I'm really blessed to have Laura in my life as well. And um, so it was nice. I saw a little doggy. He was very smiley, and it uh, always makes me think of Laura, which is, um, of course, always nice. So those three things uh, are what I have to be grateful for over the past week. Of course, I have many more, but these are the, these are the first three that came to my mind. So number one, I had a fantastic time connecting with my grandma. Number two, some great insights and perspectives from Paul. 
and his friend Dan, um, investors in socks, had people. And third of all, uh, I saw a lovely little brown doggy, and uh, always uh, makes me think of Laura, uh, which is which is really nice. So there you go. Um, I'm going to do these exercises over the next uh, four days: Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There are different exercises every day. Tomorrow is uh, terrific Tuesday, so tune in for that, and then. Um, over the course of the week, I'll let you know how uh, how I'm feeling. If you know I'm feeling even even happier, uh, and if I feel that I'm making genuine progress to cultivate even more happiness in my life, because you know, over the past couple of months, you know, I've I've you know, been working very hard, been quite tired many times, and you know, it has got a little bit stressful. So, so you know, sometimes when those things happen, it kind of distracts us from what's most important uh, in our life, which is you know what this exercise today is all about. It's, about bringing us back into centre about you know what's truly the most important things in our, in our life. So um, do check in the rest of the week, and uh, I keep keep posted. If uh, if you've read Fifty Nine Seconds by uh, Professor Richard Wiseman, you know let us know your thoughts on it. If you have any sort of great insights, and or if you've got any other books you can recommend, uh, which are which are good on happiness. So thanks very much for listening. Have a fantastic day. It's great to connect with you always, and I'll see you tomorrow.